fire tuning. I've never seen Nick lost for words either. There's something really bad in the air today. I'm Secretary of Huddersfield Keep Our NHS Public. Very proud to be here and play a part. I'm also very proud to say that I'm an officer of Huddersfield Trades Council, which has sponsored and organised this event today in tandem with a number of local health campaign groups. So thank you very much to Bob and everybody else in the Trades Council. <laughs> Social media, it's a funny thing. I've never really been into it too much, but I understand the benefits in terms of organising. Five years ago this week, up popped on my Facebook page one of these memory things that comes up. And it was a comment I'd raised that five years ago this week, the Health and Social Care Act came into being. This was passed by the Tory Lib Dem Coalition Government. And that act and its passing has paved the way for all the troubles and crises that we face today. And it's been an absolute disgrace. It's enabled the Secretary of State to wash their hands and say, this has nothing to do with us. This is about your local people deciding what's best for you. Now that is a lie. That is not true. All the clinical commissioning groups have been directed, dictated to, by the Centre and the Department of Health. One thing you could say about the Health and Social Care Act though, at least it was a piece of legislation, it was debated and it was voted on by our elected representatives in Parliament. What I want to do now is just verge on to slightly wider. It's perfectly right and proper that the local hands of HRI campaigns and all the other local campaigns are campaigning for Calderay or Huddersfield to have full emergency services. But one of the crucial things that's happening from the centre is far wider than that and I want to talk about sustainability and transformation plans. These are mechanisms that have been put in place under the five year forward view and the result is going to be a takeaway, a reduction for the West Yorkshire Health budget of over £1 billion. Now there's actually no local accountability about this, no consultation about this. All the local councils, all the clinical commissioning groups have been directed to do this from the centre. The financial aspects of this is going to be a basic population based budget which is going to result in the reduction in Kirkley's alone of 200 million, in Calderdale of 76 million, and as I said, a billion across the piece of West Yorkshire. It's an absolute, utter disgrace. So much so that we believe, because there's no legislation back in this, that there are grounds for judicial review on the sustainability and transformation plans finances. 999 call for the NHS which organised the big march, Jarrell to London a few years ago and we all played a part in that, are starting a judicial review process. There's crowd funding goes live on the Crowd Justice website at 6 p.m. this evening and if you can't afford to contribute to that, let's do it. We need to use every possible channel and mechanism to stop these cuts happening. On June the 8th, we have a great opportunity to decide whether to save our NHS or allow this government to continue to destroy it. Let's stand together in solidarity, use your vote, vote for the NHS on the 8th of June. Thank you very much.